This is Eugene Pandrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have an Asus Q500A laptop computer with a cracked screen, and we're going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on an Asus Q500A laptop computer. Before we do anything with this or any other laptop computer, we want to remove all sources of power and that means removing the battery. So we close the laptop, flip it over, and slide the two levers on each side of the battery outward and slide the battery out like so and we put the battery to the side. While we're on the bottom, I'll show you where to find the model number for this laptop. And there's two places. One is right above the ASUS label. It says MB version MBVR Q500A. And also right under the battery it will say uh, ASUS Q500A right here. It's kind of hard to see but it's there. Okay, we flip the laptop back over and before we start I'll show you the tools that we're going to need or the tools that we're going to use we have a PH1 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and 1 is the size. We have a smaller PH00 electronics screwdriver that's for smaller screws. A 2 millimeter flathead screwdriver to, for prying things open. A pair of metal tweezers to remove any screws that may be stuck or manipulate cables and a hobby knife or exacto knife and that's to remove the screw cover so we're gonna fix this it's broken so and that's to remove the screw covers okay in order to get to the screen assembly we have to remove the screen bezel that's the plastic frame around the screen in order to remove the screen bezel we have to remove two screws at the bottom that are hiding behind some rubber screw covers and that's what we'll do first we'll use our exacto knife to remove the screw covers and what to do with those is put them right beside the screw opening so I don't lose them so one and two and then we use our PH1 screwdriver to remove the two screws one and we don't want to lose it and for each set of screws I keep them in a separate pile in the order in which I remove them and that helps me keep track of which screws go where when I put the laptop back together. And we remove the second screw. Okay, once we do that, we can snap the screen bezel off. And what I like to do is put my fingertips on the screen side and gently pull upward and outward and listen for snapping sounds. And once you hear snapping sounds, that's a good sign and we work our way around the screen like so and if you get stuck at any point just keep going and come back to that part later so we keep moving along upward and outward like so and then come back to the parts that we're stuck in and just kind of pull towards you and kind of up and that'll um, get the screen bezel loose. Take your time on this part. This is probably the most difficult part of the whole procedure. So we keep working our way around like so. And same thing on the bottom. And then we lift the screen bezel out and put it to the side. Okay, let's take a look at the screen assembly. For this type of screen, it's mounted to some metal mounting brackets with screws that go into the side of the screen. And we need to have access to those screws. So in order to do that, we need to pull the screen a little bit forward from the back of the screen assembly. In order to do that, we remove these two screws at the top. One here, one here. And once again, we use our PH1 screwdriver. There's one. And remove the second one. 
two, like so. And once again, we start a separate pile for this set of screws. Once we do that, we can tilt the screen forward a little bit, and we can see we have access to the top two screws, but not quite to the bottom screw. So I have another trick for that. There's one screw down here, and then there's two screws down here. You loosen them maybe one or two turns, but not remove them. Just loosen them a little bit. And that'll help you tilt the screen forward a little bit more. So we do this, and then we have access to the bottom screw. So we remove it. One by one. And then we're going to use our tweezers to get to the screw because it's so hard to remove just with the screwdriver. And once again, we put it to the side and keep going. There's two and three. And when you're doing this, make sure you have the screen assembly tilted back a little bit so that the screen doesn't fall forward on you when you remove all of the screws. So once again on the other side, one, and we use our tweezers to remove the screw, and two, and three. Once we do that, we tilt the screen forward gently make sure it's not getting stuck on anything and put it down okay once we do that we see the back of the screen and there is one connector that we need to remove from the back of the screen and this connector is secured by some adhesive tape so we lift up the adhesive tape and also the video cable is secured by some adhesive tape. So we lift up this adhesive. Once we do that, we can pull the connector out. So we gently slide the connector backward and it's out. Uh, before we go further, I'll show you how to reconnect this screen. And what you do is you slide the connector back in and you'll feel but not hear two clicks. And let's get a close up view. Hopefully we'll get, get in focus sometime soon. Okay, we're not getting in focus right now very well. Here it is. Okay, make sure that two sides of the connection are flush with each other. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. Make sure it looks like this. Okay, so once we remove the screen, let's take a look at the screen. It's a standard 15.6 inch LED screen and it's uh, commonly available. It's the most common type of screen as of uh, mid-2013. Let's take a look at the model number for it. And the model number that you need is B156XTN02 dot or point two. Make sure you need the whole number because if it's a point one or point three it might not be the same screen. So let me read it to you again. B one five six XTN zero two point two. Okay, you can also order this screen from us from Screen Surgeons and what you get from us is this toolkit comes for free with the screen, the exact same toolkit that I use in this video. It comes for free with the screen. We have a two-year warranty on this screen, so if you develop any problems with it other than accidental damage during the two years, we'll replace the screen at no charge. And we have free email technical support. So if you have any problems at any time during the installation, send this email and we'll help you through. Also, we have fast shipping. When you use regular ground shipping, we have warehouses both on the East Coast and on the West Coast. So most likely, you'll get your screen in three days or less when you use ground shipping. And also, we ship to most countries around the world internationally 
just follow their regular checkup procedure, checkout procedure. So to order the screen from us, please go to www.screensurgeons.com. Then uh, there will be a short form for you to fill out where you find your uh, model number or type in your model number and we'll either take you to the right screen to buy online or we'll send you an email with the link to buy the right screen online. Okay, once you do get this screen in, reconnect the connector as I showed you, mount the screen in the metal mounting brackets, then put the two screws in using the tweezers and then screw them in on the bottom. Make sure you put the screws on the bottom in first and then the two screws on each side on the top. Then tighten these screws on the bottom. This is important or you might damage the hinges. Put the two screws in on the top. Snap the screen bezel back on. Put the two screws in at the bottom and the screw covers and that should be it. Okay, uh, that's it. Uh, thank you very much and good luck. And once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com.